Introduction An educational tour to Qutub Minar has been organized by Dhruv's school. The history teacher Lata Ma'am takes the students around and tells them interesting details about the monument. Their attention is diverted by the laughter of some boys from another school. They turn around and find them scribbling their names on the walls around. Lata Ma'am tells them that such monuments are public property. As citizens of India, it is our responsibility to protect them. So it is no good writing on them. Let us learn more about properties in this lesson. Objectives At the end of this lesson you will be able to Define property Differentiate between public and private property State the importance of conservation of property 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 is anything that is owned by a person, a group of persons or government. Houses, vehicles, farmlands, historical buildings, trains and post offices are all properties. Private property Private property is property owned by an individual or a group of individuals. For example, furniture, car, house, land and jewellery are all private properties because they are owned by a single individual or a group of individuals. The owner of a private property can exchange, sell or even destroy his property. Public property Public property is property owned by the government. Such property is meant for the welfare of the people. It is available for public use. All people of the country have equal right to use it. Public parks, trains, post offices, roads, public schools, public colleges, and government hospitals are all public properties. Since public property is owned by the government, the government can sell, exchange or destroy it. Importance of private property Ownership of property improves the social status of an individual. Private property can be exchanged for money in case of emergencies. Importance of public property Public properties like parks, hospitals, roads, railway stations, etc. are for public welfare. They provide comfort and convenience to the public. Some public properties like historical monuments showcase the glorious history of a country. They are the pride of a nation. Conservation of property People should take care of property. People should invest their money in properties that can give better returns. People should not harm or deface public property. It is their responsibility to protect and preserve them. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Property is anything that is owned by a person, a group of persons or government. Private property is owned by an individual or a group of individuals. Public property is owned by government. Public property is for public use and welfare. We must preserve and protect property.